This video is brought to you by Pop Top Soda Pop and Candy Shop, located in Meridian, Idaho. This store has hundreds of soda selection, nostalgic candies, vintage tins, and novelty gifts. If you're traveling through the Meridian area, stop by Pop Top Soda Pop and Candy Shop. Hi everyone, it's Tyler the Big Orby. I'm here with Billy, Krista, Justin, and Steven, and we are going to be viewing Mountain Dew Pitch Black, which has been re-released, and thank God for Mountain Dew Month. So, Can I tell my story? Yes, you can tell your Pitch Black story. Okay, so, in, high, in, uh, in middle school, a football game, or no, a fo football season... The story is great. End of the party <laughs> game. Um, at football. <laughs> at there. <laughs> foosball. <laughs> at the end of the season party for my football team. There was this one person, and they had a, like a, just a chest full of this stuff. And I was like, hey, dude, can I try some? Can I have one? He's like, no, these are for varsity. And I was like, I was so sad, because I had never tried it before, and my parents weren't going to buy me any, because, you know, I was a child or whatever. So, yeah, this is the first time ever trying this. Thank God we have that story time line, everyone. It's amazing. This actually smells really good. It's it like, smells like shit. It smells <laughs> just good. It smells really fruity, and I like that. I feel like it smells like this kind of. I just don't. I, I don't think I'm getting it quite strong. Yeah, it smells like, it smells like a weaker version well. of the black label. Well, that's what uh, I'm, I'm saying. I'm feeling like more that's stronger berry. You're, you're smelling stronger though. I'm smelling less stronger. Well, let's see. Pitch black is. It doesn't have a description. It literally just says pitch black. From what I know, this was released as a Halloween release, and now it's just being released every now and then. All right. Let's well, bottoms up. I don't think, like compared to the Black Label, the one that the new release, there is not much pop. The berry flavor is not as powerful, but there is more of that flavor. It's almost like you had the same thing, but you stretched it out. So I think it's more even on the berry. I don't really know what kind of berry Black Label or this really has, or if it even has multiple berries in it. But it's good. It's hard for me to decide really how I feel about compared to Black Label because they both have different aspects about it. Like I said, one pops and the other one's just more an even flavor. Yeah, one pops, one locks. Yeah. <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> I, I know what to say this in comparison to Black Label. I like Black Label a lot better. <clears throat> Honestly, I feel like I don't get much taste out of this one. Like, like what you said might, sounds accurate. It's more of like a evenly flat kind of flavor rather than fluctuating as you're tasting it but it's also just not as strong as the other one and and quite frankly on its own merit something that just doesn't have much flavor at all that doesn't that doesn't bode well for it so I may have been able to t detect some kind of berry sort of flavor but it, it wasn't a very good flavor what little I could discern and the flavor didn't stick very well. Uh, so what I'm gonna say about this, I am not so upset about that story anymore. This does not taste as great as the Black Label does. The one that we just tried, it's... You let out all that aggression, and for what? I know, I know. And now you get resolved isn't that now. Like, isn't that just letting out aggression in a nutshell though? I did it, but now I feel nothing. Exactly, that's exactly how I feel. It's just so like sometimes oh. it's cathartic when you, when you re when you realize that your aggression was justified. Um, I didn't like. I agree with what everybody else is saying. How they didn't like it compared to the what was the other one? The black uh, label. Black label. Yes, thank you. Um. This is probably just my taste buds being weird, but for me, like, the taste, it was still like the berry, but kind of had, like, the fake imitation of grape that you get with cheap candy, too. And I don't know. I mean, it was okay. Like, it'd be something I'd drink if someone's like, here, you want a soda, and it was the only thing they had. I'd drink it, but I would definitely prefer the Black Label over this one. Yeah, for me, I like the Black Label because it had a not very Mountain Dew taste to it. And this sadly had the Mountain Dew taste to it. Mm. So, I really didn't enjoy it as much as the Black Label. I just feel like it was weaker too. Well, I agree. It's not as great as Black Label. I don't think it's bad. I mean, I don't, it's just not strong. Like I said, the flavor's not that strong. It's just more even. 
So what I'm going to give this, my rating is a 6.5 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 10. Flavor wasn't strong. What flavor there was, wasn't very good to me. I'm going to give it a solid 3 because it's not worth your time and it doesn't honestly taste like great. I would give it a 5 out of 10. Like I said, I'd drink it if that's, if that's the only thing people had, but I wouldn't drink it again otherwise. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. You're, you're better off just getting a black label. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tyler Big Up. You click on Steam to see his movie review channel. Again, everyone, thank you so much for watching.